All right, so hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be filling out this graphic organizer about color theory today with our color pencils. Now we are doing this because our next unit is gonna involve color and we're gonna take a moment just to reiterate and understand some of our basic color theory knowledge, including the color wheel, primary and secondary colors, as well as warm, cool, and complementary colors and tertiary in here as well. Now, you will notice if you peek on the back of this graphic organizer that all of our vocabulary is there with our definitions. So if I mention a word that you're not sure what it is, pause the video, flip it over and take a look. If you need this paper, it's gonna be linked below as well as in my classroom. And in my classroom, we are gonna be using a variety of colored pencils to fill this in. They're not all quote unquote labeled correctly. Like you're gonna notice some of the labels like olive is not on here. Um, but we're going to test them out and we're going to layer the color pencils to get the correct colors. All right, so to get started, go ahead and get your name up here. I'm going to write example. Um, and you are going to need a pencil to start to label and write in some of our definitions. Where we're going to start is up here in our primary colors. We have three primary colors, as you know from your life and our PowerPoint, and they are red, yellow, and blue. So write that in and then you're going to take your color pencils and your little scrap paper and I want you to find red, yellow, and blue. And I want you to use your scrap paper to test them out. So I'm going to start with red and I'm going to grab these three because they all look like red. So we need to figure out which one is going to be our red for here. Now if I take this, this one's called red orange and I test it out. That looks nice. This one's called orange, but the outside looks a little red and it is indeed orange. And then I've got this one that looks very pink, but that one, that's gonna be our red. Okay, you might have different color pencils um, depending on what we have available to us, but go ahead and take the one that you have decided is our true red and fill in this box here for red all the way up and the box in our color wheel here marked red, which is at the top. I'm gonna ask you to push fairly firmly on your pencil, get a nice color on your paper. And fill that all the way in. All right, so that's our first primary. Our second one is yellow. It looks like we only have one yellow here. I'm gonna give it a test, it looks nice and yellow. And I'm gonna do the same thing, filling up this box here. And I'm gonna find yellow, which is all the way over here. Our yellow. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my blue. It looks like I have one blue here it's listed as blue and it looks like a nice medium blue right here. So I'm going to fill it in up top. And over here on my color wheel, I'm going to turn my paper so it's easy for me to color that in. So these three colors are very important to us. These are our primary colors. And they're important because with these three colors, we can make everything else. So the colors that are in between two of them are gonna be our secondary colors. Like, well, this one here, orange is our true secondary color here between them. And then between those two are our tertiary colors, the third level down, okay? So let's go ahead and define this, right? It says, how do you make a secondary color? You're going to make a secondary color by mixing two primaries. By mixing two primary colors. Example would be red plus yellow equals orange. 
So our three secondary colors here are going to be orange, green between blue and yellow, and violet between blue and red. Now you can call this violet or purple, I don't mind, up to you. All right, so we're gonna start here and we're gonna work our way around the color wheel. And some of these are just gonna be the pencils and some we're gonna have to mix over here. That's why I wanna start with red orange. So I'm gonna bring this little tester back over. If I look at what I did here, this one was our red. And this one is called red orange. And you can see it is slightly more orange. Then we have this orange color. And then I have one more called yellow orange that's slightly more yellow. I might layer whoops, a little bit of this yellow on top of it to make it a little bit more yellow orange. You might have different pencils, test them out until they look quote unquote correct. Okay, I'll provide a picture as well of a completed color wheel so you can compare. I'm gonna go ahead and use this red orange and fill that in. This one's very close to that red, but it is slightly different. Hopefully you can tell. Filling that in there. And then I'm gonna use the one that's called orange for this one, because conveniently it is our orange color. And I am gonna fill it in here too. Now remember, this is our graphic organizer for color. It's our cheat sheet. So we're gonna use this when we are gonna be drawing or painting to remember our color wheel and how these colors interact with each other. And then we have yellow orange, and it looks like I do have this one labeled yellow orange, but it is fairly close to my original orange. I'm gonna lay it down nice and light. Here's the beginning of my layering. Nice and light. And then I am gonna take my yellow and I'm gonna layer that too. And then I'll add another layer, maybe going in this direction of this orange color. Ideally, you should see a nice transition happening from red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange to yellow. Okay, we're gonna keep going. So we're gonna do yellow, green, green, blue, green, and then blue, violet, violet, and red, light, violet. Now, before I move on, I wanna just make note of something. We have red, yellow, and orange, and the ones between them have two names, double named, right? And they're called red, orange, and then this one over here is yellow orange. Do you notice how the primary color name is coming first? Right, and that's gonna happen all the way around. It's yellow orange, because yellow is the primary, and orange is the secondary. It's not orange yellow. And you're gonna notice that all the way around, and I will correct you if I hear you name your colors wrong, because that is not the proper name, right? It, it is red orange, not orange red. All right, let's keep going. Let's test out, I'm gonna move these over. Let's test out all my greens that I have here included. I have this one, which is called olive, but that one's what we're gonna use for our yellow green. Then I have this color called, this one's called yellow green, but we're gonna use that maybe for our green. So I think this one, yeah, that's gonna be our blue green and you can see that transition. So I'm gonna start with this one here. This is my yellow green, dropping that in. Then I'm gonna use this one called yellow green <laughs> for my green because it's matching that better sort of that medium green color in comparison to this one versus that. Different companies will name their pencils different things. We're trying to build a transition color wheel all the way around. So we're gonna ignore those names, right? 
I'm also gonna drop in my green here because green is also a secondary color, like we said. And then I have my blue green right over here. <clears throat> All right, let's do the same thing here with our blue violet, violet, and red violet. Now, I only have two of these in here that's going to fit that category. I got blue and purple. So let's test them out and see. That looks like a perfect sort of mid-tone violet or purple. And this we know is our blue. So I'm gonna take my purple pencil here and I am gonna fill it up in the violet. And I'm gonna put it over here. And now I have to do a bit of mixing, right? To get my blue violet and my red violet. To make my blue violet, I'm going to layer my blue and my purple or violet. So I'm going to lay down a very light color here of my purple or violet. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this blue. We're trying to make that mix to represent that color. And then I'm gonna go back to my purple or my violet until I have like a completely separate tone from the blue and the violet itself. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing up here with my red violet. I'm going to lay in my violet or my purple first. And then I'm gonna lay in a red, and I think I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, the red that I started with. I'm gonna lay that in, and that's pretty strong. But I can layer it again. Okay, so here is my completed color wheel and my primaries and secondaries here. You can see those transitions between colors. We have red, yellow, and blue as our primary colors. If you wanted to star those, those are our primary colors. Primary, right? Then we have our secondary colors, which are green, violet, and orange and our tertiaries are the in-betweens that are labeled with our primary name first then our secondary name after. If you turn this over and you take a look we have the definitions right here primary, secondary, and tertiary. All right so just keep that in mind. All right so let's go ahead and talk about the bottom section here now. We have two color families our warm and cool and then we have a section for complementary colors. Let's start over here with our warm and cool colors. If I take my color wheel and I split it sort of here, one side is gonna be warm and one side we call cool. Warm colors are things like red, yellow, and orange and our tertiaries in between that feel warmer to us, like fire, something like heat. Cool colors on the other side are blue, green, and violet, and the ones in between are tertiary colors of them. And they are feeling a little bit colder, like ice, right? Our warm colors are going to come forward in our composition and our cool colors are going to recede. So let's go ahead and label them and then drop them in as well. So our warm colors are going to be red, yellow, and orange. 
And our cool colors are going to be blue, green, and violet or purple. Go ahead and use the same combos you had here to fill those in. So I'm gonna fill in this one with my red. Yellow. And orange. And then down below we have blue, we have green, and violet, or we can call it purple. <clears throat> All right, so last but not least, let's talk about this down here, our complementary colors. Now, this is my favorite conversation. I think it's so interesting. Our complementary colors are colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. So this right here is a complementary pair from red and green together. We also have blue and orange, our complements and we have violet or purple and yellow are our three pairs that we have here. So they are colors that are across from each other on the color wheel and they're special because they make each other stand out really well. When we get into painting or if you take painting class, you will know that these are also going to be interesting because they're gonna change each other's intensity. But for now, what I want you to write on this side is that they are opposite each other and they make each other stand out. So again, opposite. Opposite each other on the color wheel and they make each other stand out. Make each other stand out. And like I said, it's a little squish, but this is red and green, blue and orange, and yellow and purple or violet. So go ahead and grab your pencils one more time and drop that in as well. I would encourage you to take a look at some of the examples of complementary colors that I have in the PowerPoint if you haven't done that already, especially if you were absent. Um, that is gonna really demonstrate this relationship that we saw. Blue and orange. And last but not least, we have yellow and purple or violet. Okay, so here is our completed color theory sheet. I want you to go ahead and take a picture and submit if you're in my course right now. This is our cheat sheet. We're gonna use it for our projects moving forward. Remember all the vocabulary is on the back. But again, I'm really looking for you to throw in this language and definitions and then have your colors here again, as that cheat sheet for us moving forward.